This month marks the 10th anniversary of one of the biggest financial crises in U.S. history. Yeah, hard times. Back then, the stock market plummeted, unemployment spiked, millions of Americans lost their homes. CBS 46's Gravir Dinsa takes a look back at a Cherokee family's journey to rebuild their lives. All right, have us some coffee. Before the financial crisis hit, Pam and Tony Williams were enjoying a life they'd worked hard to create. Their real estate business in Marietta had several branches. They had a beautiful home on a horse farm and dreams of retiring at the lake. We were living good. Uh, our company at that time, we were uh, closing in the neighborhood of 2,500 transactions a year. Then, Tony received a call from his bank about his loans. In the end, um, they did call everything. And uh, when they called everything, uh, the way everything was structured at that particular time, uh, we lost everything. We were devastated. The Williams weren't alone. As many as 10 million Americans are believed to have lost their homes in the worst economic disaster since the Great Depression. The stock market bottomed out, wiping out nearly $8 trillion in value. Ten years later, many, like Williams, can't help but worry if it'll happen again soon. From time to time you think, well, you're going to go through this kind of cycle again. No one can predict when. I don't have a crystal ball I can bring out and say, this is the date. But if we take a look back at this low in March of 09. Financial expert Mark Lloyd volatility. says despite the market's unpredictability, there are ways to be prepared. What you really have to look at is the economy long term. The approach we've used for our clients for many, many years is to have different buckets of money. One money specifically designed to grow, and that's going to be going up and down with the market. We can just control how much it goes up and down by how it's invested. Lloyd says if you're closer to retirement, you should give your portfolio a financial checkup. If someone you trust, someone you like, but you need to have a stress test performed on your portfolio. While the economy is undeniably better, William says the road to recovery has been marked by healing. The darkest moment selling his gun to a friend for $1,000. I sold him my pistol that day. And then when I turned around and I noticed the tears from my wife uh, just flowing down her, her face, I realized what was going on. She was afraid for me. The couple, married 41 years, rebuilt their credit from scratch. After the crash, they were left with just clothes, furniture, and a car. So what we did at that particular time was to pray together about how the Lord would, would lift our chin, lift our face, lift our head. And together we said, you know what, let's find a way to go through this. They bounced back and Williams joined a new realty firm. I had to change my email address to Tony Sales again, you know, and I had to do that just to let people know that I was alive and moving. Today, life is about the grandchildren. We devote things to family, even more to our grandchildren now, and uh, things are on a different level. For CBS 46 News, I'm Gurveer Dinsa.